from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. Welcome to The Horse's Mouth. I'm not Tom McManus, I'm Wally Conway, brought to you by our good friends at Heritage Capital Group, right here at Tommy Max Bar. I need a little help from my friends. Do not tell Tom I'm here. Truth of the matter is, he was late, and I jumped in, and here we go. What's new at Tommy Max Bar? I want to introduce you to my friends, Eric from Nova Press Room Productions. Welcome, Hi. my friend. Nice to meet you. And tell me, what great business are you guys doing at Nova Press Room? So we do all the um, like coatings and washes for the big offset printers like Komori's that you know have like the gloss on your magazines when you get them, or like the matte and stuff like that. And then we we also provide all the washes that clean off all the ink off the um, like the big huge offset printers. Yeah, I'm curious when I read a magazine, some are glossy, mm -hmm. some are matte. Yes. Why are they glossy? Why are they glossy? That's due to the company that chooses it. So we make we make high gloss, low gloss, we make it matte. So whatever the customer, how they want their product to come out, that's how they tell us. Either we have a product made or we'll formulate one for them. We have a team of three chemists that operate in UV, um, found solutions and silicone. So the silicone washes are more for maintenance, so they keep the, the metal from touching each other and rubbing on each other. So so where in the process do you come along? Does that, do you treat the paper before or after the printing? You treat it while it's printed. So the oh, ink while will, it's printed. Yeah, so the ink will go on there and then the coating will go over oh. the ink to help the ink stick. So it doesn't rub off or, you know, like with newspapers, you kind of have that, that you it'll, sometimes it'll make your hands a little black. Yeah, yeah. So when we provide the coatings on all the magazines so you don't get like a red or like a blue on your hand, it coats it over. Sometimes if it's UV to like the sun, they don't want the sun damaging it and stuff like that. So that's what the coating does. It'll protect it and give you that I nice finish. I had no idea that was so complicated. Next time I read a magazine, yeah. I'm going to be a lot more attentive. Sean Welsh, welcome. How's it going? What's going on in the veterans universe? Just trying to help as many as we can get get off on the right foot. You know, the transition process is always painful, but then you also have veterans, once they get out, they fall on hard times as well. So we got great organizations here locally that we're trying to help, and then also get the word out with the podcast to educate them on all the resources available across the country. The transition is a big challenge. A lot of guys yeah. don't make that transition very well. Same with guys like Tommy. <laughs> Guys getting out of the NFL. Exactly. Some guys make a great transition. Tom did. Some guys don't transition well. Transition's important. Mm -hmm. My own transition, when I retired from the Navy, living in Puerto Rico at the time, they sent a team from AARP down to teach <laughs> us how to be retired. I'm 38 years old. I joined AARP. They teach me how to retire. How are you helping guys? So we run a podcast, airs every week, and we bring on all these veteran support organizations. There's over 40,000 of them across the country doing great things to help people. So we try to bring on as many as we can, talk to them, uh, get the personal touch from who's working there, and then also find out what they're doing. You know, if there's a cost, most of them don't have a cost that we've talked to so far, uh, but how the veteran or the spouse or the transitioning service member can actually reach out and utilize the services. So you're not directly a service provider. You're helping the serviceman as a conduit to get to what they need to facilitate the transition. Absolutely. Trying to educate them and, and you know, because like G.I. Joe used to say, knowing's half the battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more than half, more than half. <laughs> Ray Cruz. Glad to meet you. Welcome. ASAP, what's going on? ASAP is a bunch of organization with podcasts that we have set up around the world, around the United States. We do have some people overseas doing um, MAA for us over there and Basically, we just get it together with people that want to do the sports, and we just, we're veteran owned. We got about five or six veterans that are on different shows. Um, we deal from football all the way down to MAA sports, all the way down to pro professional wrestling. We have an independent wrestling organization that is going on our network um, that when our local analysts in Indiana puts together and runs the show. Nice. So, all sports? All sports. College sports. College sports. Professional sports. Professional sports. Women's sports. Yep. All sports. We got WNBA covered by Mike Hughes out of Chicago. Nice job. So, so how do you find your content? We um, we put ads out on Facebook itself or on our Facebook page and find out who wants to be um, analysts. We interview them. We do a stitch uh, process, have them submit their shows. If we like their shows, we'll bring them on for a trial run and see how their shows are you, are, are you better? Are your uh, podcasters and your other content providers, are they exclusively veterans or do you have some former players? We have, um, we have some former high school players, not professional players. We uh -huh. do have some 
professional WNBA who's now going to start their shows on our network. Okay. Um, so we're just starting to get out. We got about 9,000 subscribers on Facebook, almost 1,500 on um, YouTube, and then we own Roku TV, Apple TV. Okay. So I might be able to help you out. So I got a buddy. He's a tendon bar. Quarter century ago, he was a walk on for an expansion team. Okay, and he's back tendon bar again. Is that too late to come back in and be a viable podcaster? No, I'm 51 years old. All right. You want I me to introduce you to that guy? Sure. Okay. After the show, I'm, I'm going to introduce you to my buddy Tom McManus, and <laughs> I can't make you any promises about how well he performs, and I won't make him any promises about his future, but we'll make that connect. Knowing you guys are doing a lot of stuff on veterans, speed round here, 30 seconds. What, what's Nova doing to help veterans? Um, we do. I just, I just try to spread awareness that there's something more for you there. You don't have to just go and do a standard thing. You can go, you can take your skills from the military, you know, running operations, you know, the discipline and stuff like that. So that's just what I try to spread awareness. That it doesn't stop there. You have a lot to give to the civilian world and it's, there's a lot more and I want to educate other companies that I kind of partner with and that they're not just a veteran that, you know, went out there and had a hammer and drove a truck, you know, they have a lot of skill set, you know, yeah. a lot of skill set. So appreciate that. Yeah. Leadership and a willingness to learn. How about it? What are we doing helping veterans? Trying to be involved in as many things as possible. You got the uh, quote unquote Jack's Mafia here of veteran transition people. There's a yeah. ton of people here. Great network. Uh, and then we're also, you know, doing great work with groups like Operation Barnabas here locally where we're, we're you know, trying to help you know, some people that maybe, maybe have been a little down on their luck at times, trying to get them back up and, and moving forward. Appreciate that. And what we do at Phase 7 is we give them a place if they want to do sports, podcasts, and stuff like that. But I individually, I'm suffering from PTSD itself. So I'll go around and talk to people who's got PTSD, how they settle from being um, you know, violent, uh, you know, sub all the way to being going to church. How my faith has helped me uh, progress. Um, keeping you understand you know, their from, struggles, their challenge, yeah. and you share the path so. to a better place that you, you've done for yourself. I want to salute all three of you fine gentlemen. Thank you, sir. You're welcome anytime here at Tommy Max Bar, and anytime you're at the bar, let them know you know me and tell Tommy to pour one just for you. The team at Heritage Capital Group is special because it's a collection of people across the spectrum. We have people who have been in the shoes of owners that are looking to buy and sell and professionals that have executed transactions helping buy and sell companies for decades. I think when you talk to us, see what our experience is, see what our skills are, see the reach that we have, you'll be very happy with the recommendation.